Hi, everyone. OK, so for the first ha part of this course, uh, we've learned basically the ins and outs of, of solving linear systems of equations. Um, today, we're going to do a little review of, of the basic concepts. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll see um, a few of them in the, in the following problem. We're given a square matrix A, a 3 by 3 square matrix A, where the last entry is a parameter k. And this parameter will vary. And we'll see how the system, um, whether, what happens to the system of equations ax equal to 2, 3, 7, whether it, for which k it has a unique solution, for which k it has infinitely many solutions. Then we'll find the LU decomposition. And finally, we'll write down the complete solution the system. So I'll give you a few minutes to work this um, problem on your own, and then please come back and see how I do it. All right, welcome back. So let's start with part A. For which k does this system, uh, ax equal 2, 3, 7, have a unique solution? So. What do we know about um, square, systems of uh, square systems of linear equations? Um, they have a unique solution when the matrix A is invertible. Okay? So now, when is A invertible? It is invertible when it is a full rank. And how do we figure this, this out? We do it by performing um, row operations. We do it by doing eliminations on the matrix. OK, um, but since we want to simulate an exam setting, uh, it always pays off to see what um, tasks lie ahead of us. So in, in part C, we'll, um, we're asked to find the LU decomposition. This means that when we do um, row operations, we'd better keep track what row operations we're doing exactly. Um, in particular, we'll write them down as elementary matrices. And in part D, we will be asked to compute the complete solution. And therefore, um, it's good to do row operations on the augmented matrix A. OK, so let's do this. Um, I'm going to write this. Well, the augmented matrix E is the following beast. One. One, 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 two, three, three, four, K. And then two, three, seven. OK. So first thing, we, we subtract row, a multiple of row 1 from row 2. And it's exactly um, negative 1 times the uh, first row plus the second, right? So uh, let me write down the corresponding elementary, elementary matrix that does this. It's E21, um, and it's lower diagonal with ones on the diagonal. And it's going to be exactly minus 1 in the first entry of the second row. OK. So we get. 1, 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 1. And we copy down the third row. OK. Now, we subtract a multiple of the first row from the third one. And let me write this here. It's precisely. We'll, multi yeah, we'll multiply the fir first row by negative 3 and add it to the third one. This is accomplished by the elementary matrix E3, 1, which is 1, 1, 1, negative 3, and then 0, 0. OK, 1, 1, 1, 2, uh, 0, 1, 2, 1. We copy the first two rows. And then the third one will be 0, 1, um, k minus 3, 
And 7 minus 3 times 2, 7 minus 6, 1. OK? We have essentially, well, one last op row operation to, to perform. Let me do it here. So we'll subtract the second row from the third one. And get 1, 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, k minus 5, and then 0. And this was achieved by the elementary matrix E32, which was 1, 1, 1, and then uh, negative 1. OK, because, yeah, we multiplied the second row by negative 1 and added it to the third one. OK, so we have the, um, we have, we, we got to a matrix which, was, which is upper triangular. And we want to, yeah, we want to figure out for which value of the parameter k is this matrix, uh, matrix of full, full rank. Well, this pivot is, this is a pivot, this is a pivot, and we want this one to be a pivot as well. And that happens when uh, k minus 5 is not 0. OK, so when k is different from 5, the matrix A is a full rank. And therefore, um, the system AX equals to 237 has a unique solution. Now, part B. For which k do we have infinitely many solutions? So when when, when, do, when are we in such a situation? We are in such a situation when the null space of the matrix A is non-trivial. Um, so the null space will be non-trivial non when this k minus 5 uh, number here, which is, was the pivot in the first case, is 0. So k minus 5 equals to 0. You see, yeah, there is a little caveat here. Um, when yeah, k is equal to 5, we get the third row of the augmented matrix 0, 0, 0 equal to 0. This means that the matrix is actually consistent and we indeed have a solution. But if this entry were non-zero, then we would get no solution. OK. Now. Off to part C. We want to compute the LU decomposition. Well, we already got what the uh, matrix U is through yeah, performing row operations. It's, it's this guy here. Let me write it down. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, k minus 5. And when k is equal to 4, this entry is negative 1. OK. And now what about the matrix L? Well, how did we get to this U? We had the matrix A. We got the matrix U. And what we did was first we applied A21. Then we applied A31, E31, and then E32. So a, a is, we get A by inverting this equation. So it's going to be E21 inverse, E31 inverse, E32 inverse times U. And this is our matrix L. And we know it's fairly easy to invert these elementary matrices E. We just, yeah, we flip the signs of the off diagonal entries. OK, so um, I'm not going to write down the, the, again, the inverses of, of these guys. Um, I'm, oh, yeah, 
I'm just going to write the product of the inverses, and that's also very easy um, to, to compute because when we invert the signs, we just um, send the numbers in the, their corresponding entry of L. I mean the following thing. So minus 1 becomes a 1, and uh, it comes here in its respective entry. For E3, yeah, for E3, 1, this becomes, we flip the sign first, 3, and we plug it in here. And for E3, 2, we, we flip the sign of this guy, it becomes 1, and we plug it in here. Okay. So, give me a few moments to erase the board, and then I, I'll do part 4. Okay, we're back, and we're going to do part D now. Um, okay, so we need to find the complete solution of the system for all k. And we saw that for k equal to 5, the system um, had many, many solutions, and for k not equal to 5, it had only one. Okay, so first let's uh, look at the case k not equal to 5 when the matrix A was, was invertible. Um, the, well, we can, it's, it's not hard to see what the solution of the system then is. Uh, it's going to be, let me just write it down. So when k is not equal to 5, this was non-zero. Therefore, um, x3 needs to be 0, right? When x3 is 0, we have x2 plus 2 times x3. So x2 plus 0 equals 1. Therefore, x2 is 1. And then we go back to the first row. We have x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals 2. So x1 plus 1 plus 0 equals 2. So x1 plus 1 equals 2. And therefore, x1 is 1. Good. Now, what about k equal to 5? Then we see that x3 is a free variable. OK, so the solution will be x1, x2, x3. 3 can be, x3 can be any number, C. From the second row, we'll get the value of x2. It's 1 minus 2 times x3, so 1 minus 2 times C. And uh, x1 is 2 minus x, it's 2 minus x1 minus x, sorry, 2 times, 2 minus x2 minus x3. So let me rewrite this as 2 minus x2 is 1 minus, ah, a chalk, 2c minus c, 1 minus 2c, c. OK? So we'll decompose this vector here into a component which is independent of c and a component which is a multiple of c. OK? So this is um, 2 minus 1 should be 1, 1, 0, plus c times, we'll have 2c minus c, c, so c times 1. Uh, here we'll have minus 2c, so negative 2, and here we'll have 1. And thus we get the particular solution for the system and the special solution for the system. Okay, we're kind of done here. Uh, if you're at an exam, you should immediately start the next problem. Good luck and I'll see you later.